Hey there, fellow travelers, it's Leo coming to you from Moscow, uh, the capital of Russia. I hope you're having an amazing day. Today what I have for you is a trip to a pretty nice town located about four and a half hours by car, not it, of Moscow. We're on the road heading Rostov, a town in the Yaroslav Oblast, uh, which is also one of the oldest here in Russia and a tourist center of the Golden Ring as well. You are probably wondering now, hey Leo, tell me, what is the Golden Ring? Well, the Golden Ring of Russia is a vast area in which old Russian cities are located in a ring-like arrangement. It's also a well-known theme route in the greater Moscow area. Rostov is located about uh, more than 200 kilometers northeast of Moscow in a picturesque, picturesque location uh, on the shores of Lake Nero. Um, while the official name of the town is Rostov, it's popularly known to Russians as Rostov Vieliki, which means uh, Rostov the Great to distinguish it from the much larger city of Rostov on Don, or how the Russian call it, Rostov Nadonu. Yes, I am on dangerous Russian roads sitting next to Irina in her car. I was wondering why she don't have a dash cam. Uh, Russian's love for dashboard cameras attracted attention from around the world. Type on YouTube Russian dash cams or Russian drivers and some wild and strange videos will pop up. But hey, be aware watching this Russian uh, dash cam videos on YouTube, uh, you can get pretty shocked. You might thinking that the most drivers in Russia drive car as if they are immortal. <laughs> Well, yes, some Russian dashcam videos are even better than Hollywood, honestly, yes. Watching these videos, you might, you might tend to compare Russian roads with video games, especially the fight videos between drivers. You might think Russia is like a real life of the popular video game Grand Theft Auto. Guys, it does mean that Russian roads are all about violence and outrage. Um, there are a lot of other videos from Russian roads showing positive moments captured by dash, dash cams uh, like motorists helping old ladies across the road, cars stopping in front of cats and dogs, drivers helping each other in tough situation. I'm sure there are more careful and low abiding drivers than crazy ones out here. However, dash cams are very popular among Russians. If you have ever wondered why almost everyone in Russia has a dash cam in the car, well, I try to explain it to you. The main reason for using dashboard cameras in Russia is to avoid any misinterpretation uh, of events. It's all about to avoid scammers, if I can say so. If a dash cam is installed, everything that happens in front of the car is on the record. So it's impossible to scam the police. Often happens that some scammers try to scam drivers out of their money. For example, pedestrians can throw uh, themselves on the car hoods in order to fake dangerous driving and win an insurance case. Um, some drivers also slam on the brakes, uh, causing the car behind them to crash into the car in a bid to win money. To prove it was no accident, dash cam footage is essential, especially if there are no witnesses.
arrived in Rostov. Rostov Veliki is a small town in the Yaroslav region with a, a railway station and a bus station. The city has a very good uh, transport connection with uh, Yaroslavl, which is about 50 kilometers from here, Moscow and other Russian towns. Within the city you can use a taxi or a bus. Uh, Rostov Veliki railway station is just about one kilometer from the historical center which has a very beautiful Kremlin. Uh, there's exactly where I'm going uh, now um, to visit the fortress of this town, the so-called Kremlin of uh, Rostov Veliki. I just entered the Kremlin, so to enter you have to pay 70 rubles for each person and uh, it's not allowed to make uh, videos here um, unless you pay 2000 more rubles then you can make some shots with your video camera so but look at all these beautiful churches here inside this Kremlin they are looking amazing very beautiful never never seen something like that in my entire life everywhere very impressive very impressive this is a very nice place to visit i can tell you this already it starts to rain now so uh, it's very unlucky day to visit the kremlin of rostov but look how beautiful look at all that beautiful russian orthodox churches around me they're looking so good impressive and i love their onion their onion uh, dome they are fantastic. They are so beautiful from outside and surely very impressive from inside. So I'm very impressed here and it's so beautiful to be here. I feel like in a beautiful Russian fairy tale. Um, guys, what a beautiful and photogenic place and also magical and Instagrammable at the same time. definitely choose a bad 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 day to come to this wonderful beautiful magical place it rains and it's very bad to walk around here in the meanwhile it stops to rain and uh, this makes everything easier for me and so now um, I decided to go around and uh, walking along the lake. Walking down the street to the lake Nero, uh, watching all these typical Russian wooden houses here. They are called the Dacha here. And uh, uh, of course not this house, but I saw a lot of Dacha here. And uh, that means a summer house. And uh, I think all the Dacha here are equipped with uh, a banya. A banya is the Russian sauna, as I said before in the previous videos. And I saw a lot of Dacha here with banya. And uh, it's very nice place to walk around and fantastic.
guys russia is a wonderful place to visit so don't be influenced by whatever you hear in the news okay come explore for yourself of course don't expect a lot of service when you come to russia um, but because it can be shockingly bad and time consuming and just frustrating and yes sometimes it seems like they don't care they don't smile back and that kind of shocks some people but look they are just reserved and the thing is when you go when you get to know the russians uh, and they open up to you they can be some of the most fun people ever believe me guys i know what i'm talking about um these people here can really be wonderful when you get a chance to actually meet them Well, my stomach is rebelling, it wants to eat something. Hey, stomach, what do you want to eat? Pasta? Pizza? Tell me, what do you want to eat? Niet? Как нет? Pelmeni? Ah, pelmeni. Хорошо. Let's go for pelmeni. Stomach wants pelmeni. Well, I think I should come to the end for today because uh, the weather is very bad and um, I can I can go around here and make good videos so um, but let me say this does it work to visit Rostov Veliki well definitely yes uh, I can definitely recommend a trip to Rostov Veliki you can come by train here just make sure when you buy a, a train ticket you get the right Rostov in Russia there are two cities with similar names Rostov Veliki this city and uh, Rostov on Don which is a port city and the ad uh, administrative center of the southern federal uh, district of Russia well guys it's time to drive all the way back to Moscow it was an amazing day here in Rostov Veliki the Kremlin impressed me a lot and the atmosphere is very very nice here definitely a place to visit when you're coming to Moscow and that wrapped up this video and you know what part of the video is coming now right well the comment like and subscribe or unsubscribe part and feel free to waste your time following me on instagram and facebook as well from rostov leos american nation see you